Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is lesson 430. Today we're going to look at the difference between continuously and continually. Yeah, this is one that may come up that students may ask, what's the difference between these two? Because they are kind of similar in their meanings. All right, let's, uh, let's take a look here. If something is continual, uh, it will happen repeatedly over a period of time, especially in an annoying way. So with continual, annoying is a key word. Usually it bothers you and it's annoying that it's happening uh, so often. All right, if something is continuous or you know something is happening continuously, it happens without stopping. So it just like goes in a row. Uh, there's no breaks in between. So well, without any stopping or being interrupted or any breaks. So here you're trying to emphasize that it's just continuous, that there's no stopping in between. Uh, it's not necessarily annoying. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, so let's look at the first one here. Of course, with the X, this would be wrong. A line of people stretched continually around the corner waiting to buy face masks. Okay. Um, here you're more likely to say a line of people stretched continuously continuously around the corner. You really want to emphasize that it was a long line. There was no breaks in the line. Um, you wouldn't say continually unless it annoyed you. Uh, in this case, I mean, unless you wanted to wait on the line, <laughs> maybe while you're waiting, uh, that's, that would be more continual. But really here, you're just talking about the line itself. So it should be continuously is the better word. All right, let's look at number two here. Uh, this one's a little trickier. Because in some ways, you, you might be able to use either. She sobbed continuously for two hours. Now, if you wanted to emphasize that there was no breaks in between, and she didn't even stop for a few seconds, you might use continuously. But I think in most cases, you should probably be using continually, because usually people are annoyed by this. If they, Especially if it was a child that was sobbing for several hours in a row, it, it might get on your nerves after a while. Even though you may feel sorry for them, you may want to try to comfort them, but they won't stop. And it just kind of gets annoying after a while. So in that sense, probably continually is the better one. So she sobbed continually for two hours. So you want to emphasize it, how annoying or disturbing it was that she cried for this long period. All right, let's look at the third one. I couldn't get any work done. I was continuously interrupted. Okay, um, probably continually is a little better here. Uh, when you say continuously, that, that sounds like there was really no breaks in between. There probably was some breaks. I'm sure you maybe had a period of 10 minutes or 15 minutes where you were doing work without someone disturbing you. But here you mean continually that it happened often enough that it was really annoying. It was bothering you. Uh, you frustrating, you couldn't get your work done. So here you should probably say, I couldn't get any work done. Uh, you know, I was continually interrupted, you know, so nobody let me work for any period of time that I could concentrate and get work done uh, very well. Continuously sounds like nearly every minute or every second. It probably wasn't that. Okay, anyway, I, I hope you got it. I uh, hope it was clear. Uh, yeah, I hope this explanation helped to clarify it a little better for you. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.